What's up YouTube? This is your man, Big B Production 100. I have an awesome video for you guys tonight. Tonight in this video, I just wanted to go over special characters and symbols for OS 10 Mount Lion. Now, I know it's a lot of new users out here that's using OS 10 Mount Lion, and it's not they're not really too familiar with how they can access their symbols and characters on their computer in order to use them when you're texting, uh, you know, sending some type of text such as like an email. We're just going to go over that in this video here. So first off, we want to start by opening up our text editor. We can do that with some commands here on your keyboard here, of course. You can access your text editor simply by a command spacebar that will then open up Spotlight and you can then type it in and it should pop right up. Or if you don't want to use that, if you have an application such as Alfred, you can use that as well with a command command and type it in there as well. So in this case, I'll just use Alfred. Once you have Alfred open, you're presented with your text editor and your documents folders. You just want to click on where it says new document. So right now, I'm just going to show you guys how you can use your symbols because we already have symbols installed on OS 10 my line, but a lot of people don't know about it. So they go out to the Mac app store and other third party apps and they download applications that will then give them these symbols and characters and cool stuff like that. But before you tend to go that route, I'm going to show you how you can just basically access it it's as, as far as the ones that's already installed on your Mac. So while you have your text editor open, you can do this two ways. Also, you can do another command, which is option command T. If you hit those three keys, you will then open up your characters. I'm going to close it down this time and I'm going to show you the second way you can get to that same box. You can simply go up to where it says edit. Now you want to come down to where it says special characters. And if you look here along the side of special characters, you also have the same commands I just did, which is option command and T. You can click on it and you're presented with the same box. So I'm now going to slide these two boxes side by side so you can see what I'm doing here. So let's just say if we wanted to, okay, use some characters. Now, again, this video is just for the people that don't know that you already have characters pre-installed on your Mac that you can use and you have a bunch I mean you have here are some of my favorites that I have added I'll show you how to do that as well you have error arrows you have uh, parentheses uh, punctuations currency symbols and I mean a bunch of stuff so we're gonna just start with I guess arrows so let's just say if you was texting an email of your choice to a friend a family member or whatever it was you was doing on your Mac and you was typing and you wanted to add some characters. It's a couple of ways you can do this. You can simply just click on one and do a right click and copy. Come over to your text editor or your email or whatever it is you're doing. And you can either do a command V, which will then paste the information. You can just delete the rest because you don't want that. You just want the symbol or the character. That's one way. Or if we delete that, you can take the symbol you can drag it and drop it like so that's another way and the third way is to just basically do a right click copy and then do another right click and then do a left click for paste that's one way now that you guys are familiar with your characters and where you can access your characters at I'm going to show you guys how you can add those same characters to create your own folder just to have your favorites because it's hundreds of characters on the Mac that's already installed that you can use. Let's go down to emojis. Here are the good ones that we all like to use on Facebook and Google Plus, of course, with the smiling faces and laughing my ass off and tears and so on or whatever like that. So we have a lot of cool ones in here. And right now, I'm just going to show you guys how you can add these cool characters to your favorites folder. Uh, I guess I'll click on. I don't want to use a cat. I guess that's cool. I'm sleepy or something like that. You can uh, basically take this, just select the one you want, and click where it says add to favorites. And I'm going to select maybe two more. Okay. Get that one. That's cool. And I guess I'll add that one as well. And once you have added those characters to your favorites, you will then just come back over to the left hand side, and right there where you see favorites, you'll see. And I mean, you can add hundreds inside your character folder. I mean, hundreds, honestly, you can add a bunch. 
and once you're done just close it out and the next time that you open up your email of your choice your email client or you're inside you know text editor maybe you're doing some work for school and you want to use some special characters or uh, I don't know you're at the library or whatever you have your MacBook Pro out with your cool retina display and then you can take your character of your choice copy command V there we go like so and again that will work for your email client uh, I tried it in Facebook and Google Plus it don't really work too well inside those two because of the simple fact Facebook and Google Plus already have their own presets that you can use so they don't really allow you to use the ones that's on your Mac because they already have them for you but like I said if you was inside your email client send an email or if you was using your text editor to create some type of word uh, document or something like that you can use this so I hope this video was very informative for you guys out there and females that didn't know that you had special characters on your Mac pre-installed already ready for you to use this is your man Big B Productions 100 Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you guys and females did like the video. Holla at you.